It's the Thursday Morning House Call with Dr. Lane Aina. Brought to you by Huntsville Memorial Hospital. Good morning, Big Lane Edwards here with you in studio with me, Dr. Lane Aina. Good morning, Dr. Lane. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. A little waterlogged this morning, but... More rain. Here it comes again, huh? Exactly. But it'll be done by mid-morning or so, and then it's going to be sunny and hot. Nice and humid, and we'll talk about that. But first... Yeah? Happy three-year anniversary, my friend. Boy, yeah. You know what? We've been doing this. It's always something to look forward to. Absolutely. Every week, because we're always talking about something top for the listeners. You know what? Everything that you talk about are things they can use right now. The feedback is great to our listeners. Thank you all. We could not be doing this without your support. It has been so well received by the community, the topical things we talk about, uh, the advice we give, and just a fun thing that we've talked about over the three years, whether it was me and you or me and Steve Ricks. I remember talking about this with him as well. Big shout out to Steve, by the way. Steve Ricks, hope you're doing great out there. We miss your brother. But just last week, someone asked me, hey, are you that guy from the radio? Folks, I tell you, it never gets old. No. Uh, if you see me in public, I don't just ask. I beg you to ask. Are you that guy from the radio? And it has been such a delight. Well, and I need to also thank the folks at Tunstall Memorial Hospital for sponsoring the program. Absolutely. They have been fantastic partners. I have loved working with them every step of the way. So big thank you to Huntsville Memorial. Thank you for being our partners in this and, and looking forward to our continued partnership going forward. Absolutely. So... We're going to talk about something very topical today. Absolutely. So now that it's raining like crazy, again, everyone in Texas knows what that means. It's going to be humid again. And the hottest temperatures of the year are coming. We're in mid-July now, usually from here to that late August, just those dog days of summer, man, where it's everything you could do to try to stay cool. That's what's coming. So what are we going to do? Well, you are doing a great job talking about being heat smart on the radio. Yes. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big listener, as you know, and you've been talking about that. We've talked about being heat smart on the show. Did you know certain medications? can affect your body's ability to react to the heat. Absolutely. Yeah, so I wanted to kind of talk about that. There was a great news story that an East Texas TV station did recently that I wanted to kind of expound upon. One of the big ones, probably the most common one, is blood pressure medicines. Now, first of all, all blood pressure medicines, if your blood pressure is at that low end of normal because you're very well controlled on your blood pressure medicines, which the other 99% of the time is fantastic. We want tight control on that blood pressure. But if your blood pressure is already at the low end of normal, as you sweat and fluid leaves your circulatory system, the pressure in that system goes down. The blood pressure goes down. You'll start to feel dizzy when you stand up. You'll feel woozy. You'll feel more short of breath and tired. You've got to be cautious on those blood pressure medicines that if you're working outside, it is even more imperative that you drink plenty of water. It's important anyway. It's even more important on those meds. Now, certain medicines like Lasix or furosemide, water pills as a lot of people call them, or hydrochlorothiazide, which is another diuretic, those make you get rid of water. So you're already fighting a battle in that one. So if you're on those medicines and you're working outside, you've really got to work hard to replete your water and replete your electrolytes too. Other medicines that can affect it, if you're on ibuprofen or naproxen, meloxicam, any of those non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, I always warn my patients, hey, these are cleared by the kidneys. So let's make the kidneys job as easy as possible. Give it plenty of water to work with, plenty of water to filter through. Otherwise, remember we've talked about it can really hurt your kidneys if you get dehydrated. If you put anti-inflammatories on top of that while you're dehydrated, a big no know, if you will, right? You're compounding too many issues for the kidneys. Doxycycline is a very common antibiotic. It may be my favorite antibiotic, but it can make you very sun sensitive. So if your doctor puts you on doxycycline for one reason or another, make sure you're wearing sunscreen. Make sure you're wearing a hat. Try to wear sleeves. Those are important. There's a couple of diabetic medicines, the SGLT2 medications, Farsiga, Jardians, fantastic drugs. They do a lot of good. They also cause you to lose a little bit of fluid. So if you're on those drugs, those can also tend to make you a bit more dehydrated than otherwise. So at the end of the day, talk to your doctor. If you have any concerns about the medications you're on in these dog days of summer as that humidity hits 100% and the heat hits, the temperature gets to what, 100 here soon probably? Feels like 107, 108, 109. Drink the water. Make sure if you're on those medicines, drink even more water and be sure to be heat smart, like you always say. Absolutely. I always say that if you're drinking four bottles of water, you need eight. Yeah. It is hard to overcome the sweat you're losing. That's, That's for sure. All right. Well, there you go. Some great uh, information and advice from Dr. Lane Naina. That is this week's Thursday morning house call brought to you by Huntsville Memorial Hospital. And here's to three years of keeping Huntsville healthy.